Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, I'm doing my version of doing the 5.4 liter timing in a little mini series on how to get to that part, doing the timing, putting it back together and start up for tech. Maki Loco has an excellent tutorial, four part series on doing that very in depth. He's a professional, done many of these. This is gonna be my version of someone who's never even done it before. What am I getting myself into? Let's get started. Pull the battery off. I'm actually going to completely remove it. Take plenum. It's only held on one bolt, 10 millimeter. Pull that out. that out gives you a whole bunch more extra room next step in our mission start draining the radiator loosen the cap now on the passenger side there you see a pet cock down there we're gonna hook up a tube onto there and then start draining okay that's not the right hose to use but I need to improvise and make something work She's either going to make a mess or she's going to go. I'm going to find out. I really have no clue what's going on with that radiator drain. It's hardly even coming out. It seems to be pissing more out the back of the damn plug than anything. With top skin off. Plastic tabs are in there, darn good. It's bending my tool and it's metal. Jesus. Yeah, it just broke right off. She wasn't coming out of there. Not a good sign. I'll try to get underneath here. Okay, we got that one. Yeah, those little tabs. I think I might just have to get new ones. That one came out. And then uh, that will just come off. Okay, so the next step I'm going to do in the timing while the radiator is draining, I'm going to start removing the hose. And since I'm doing the thermostat at the same time, I'm just going to pull the whole assembly out and then replace it afterwards. Spring clips, and I'm typically not a big fan of them, but you can get away with these pliers here. There's actually um, special pliers for it. Whoops. And then you just pull that hose off. Shove a rag in there right now. Keep debris out. At this stage here, I'm going to remove the fan in the shroud and I already busted it free so it saved me money from buying specialized tools to remove the fan. Well, I shouldn't say not all are specialized tool. This is the fan pulley holder. It's been modified to fit numerous models and I got this all 16 wrench. That's big enough and a hammer. So that's how you'd have it set up right there room for your hammer that you could swing and hit it without damaging anything else. So then you take the hammer and then you'd whack it and get it out. And then once you bust it free, it's a left hand thread and pull her out. Oh, there we go. Now before I try to pull the fan shroud out, I'll get some light on the subject. Pull that off. And then 
kind of kind of fish it around and then boom we're out once you got the fan out it's a good time to inspect it for any cracks any damage it's a good time to replace it while you got everything apart gonna remove that bracket in the front those are 13 mil Gonna need a deep socket for that one. Now I need to get that bracket off for the power steering reservoir. And as you can see, she goes way underneath into the abyss. And I need to know what the heck I'm gonna be looking at. So I'm gonna grab my snap-on borescope. And we're going to check it out. See that? That's what we're after. And it's going to get ugly. Okay, I'm going to go for plan B. I wanted to get this all off in one piece. But I think I'm going to remove the plastic reservoir. Slide it off the way. And it'll give me some more room to access where that ugly bolt is. That's gonna help me out. Are you kidding me? Oh, the sucker does not wanna oh, come free. What the hell's the matter with you? Oh. Okay, it's coming. This thing is freaking ugly to get at. Wow. Oh, really? Now I realize I didn't even have to take it out. Okay, now we can start pulling stuff off the driver's side. I'm gonna let that soak. And we need to figure out where that wire goes to. BBC. It's, gonna... it's got those green tabs that you just slide over to the side and then pull out like that. That's that nut free. Because if it doesn't bust free, we may wreck the sensor. Oh, yeah, we're going to be good. There we go. I just disconnected this line, and it's connected to the power steering line. And it feeds back, and that's what this one is. And I gotta reach back behind the power steering pump because there's a clip that it hangs on, and I should be able to pull it up. Everything so far seems to be one massive struggle. Finally got it off. You know, all I wanna do is. Uh, I think there's another wire connected to it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to jack the truck up, put it on blocks. I can reach the oil pressure sensor. I just can't feel where the tab is to pull her out. All right, we're just gonna keep on pulling wires off as we move along here. Oh, you cocksucker. There we go. 
I just gave up on that other wire for a little bit. I'm just gonna try to pry this wiring harness off now. The problem is, uh, the shit's so, so corroded and rotten now. Vacuum hose. Gonna very carefully pull that off. This is the vacuum line. That's how you're gonna be, eh? Okay. Right. That's off as well. Busting it, could probably definitely get that up there. Coil packs held in by number seven. Just gonna go ahead and move all the bolts. Now that I got all the bolts pulled from the coils, let's start pulling them out. Go. There we go. All the coils are out. Good time to change plugs if you haven't done it. If you're going balls deep, go all the way. Let's blow off as much crap as we can. Oh, there's some sort of guard. I'm just gonna pull it out. Is there another screw holding it on? Of course there is. hidden screws all over the place. Oh yeah, what a mess that is. Okay, the skid pan's pulled out and that plastic, I don't know if it's a drip pan for the oil filter, is off as well. Let's go underneath and see if we can get that wire disconnected so we can get this up with the other stuff. And then I think just loosen up the dipstick and I think this valve cover will be ready to pull off. So there's your oil pressure switch up in there. I'm not going to be able to reach it from the bottom. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to get my mitts up anywhere. Going to have to try from the top. Squeeze that tab. See if I can get her off. I got that plug disconnected. I used two long screwdrivers. Carefully went one up to the differential push the tab in and one from the front just to kind of bust it free gently and then I was able to reach my hand in there slide it off and now I'm gonna pull that wiring harness up now uh, what's holding this thing on though there we go Probably wasn't necessary to go through all that trouble, but now it's out of the way. Lots of room. You don't need to pull the radiator out, but I'm going to pull it out anyways. Just because, for one, I'm changing out the rad hoses. Plus, I want to get those transmission lines off, and I've never done this job before, so I don't want to be fighting with tight space 
especially when trying to replace that oil pump. Alrighty, I'm gonna end the video there or the first part of this series of doing the timing in my Ford 5.4 liter. Not really a whole bunch accomplished. I'm trying to keep this as real as I possibly can. There was a lot of things that I struggled with in this process just because this truck and where I live is exposed to a lot of elements. Uh, summer, winter, a lot of salt on the roads. So I'm dealing with a lot of corrosion. Um, electrical plugs are full of dirt and salt and they're seized up and you fight with, to try to get them off. Bolts and stuff are seized, especially that power steering bracket bolt. I probably fought with that for at least an hour. It's in a pretty awkward spot. So, also, uh, getting some of the electrical connections off, I found that they're in a fairly tight spot. So, if you got small hands, that's all right. I got big, huge mitts, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to do. Um, going together will be a lot easier because everything's already been broken free. You're just, you know, putting it, snapping it back together. And hopefully by the next video, we're going to be, the passenger side is going to be stripped down, ready to take off. Then we're going to take both of the valve covers off and then continue working our way down for the timing. And I'm going to post everything that I encounter along the way so that if you guys are doing this job or want to take this job, you may or may not have the same issues or if you encounter something different, you can post it below. So I'm going to talk to you guys later.